So, oh, whoa, we get a very small Umbra. Hello everyone and welcome to this video about the Umbra size during the solar eclipse. I hope this video can clear some uh, of the confusion, misunderstanding um, that the because of the Umbra size is smaller than the moon size. Uh, but no one really mentions that the, the moon shadow is larger than uh, the moon size, uh, which is a fact uh, no one can deny if you look at it uh, this way. If this is the moon, then this is the size of the shadow of the moon on the Earth. Uh, not exactly the same size, but of course, it's bigger than the moon. Uh, because if you see this here, this portion, the, the penumbra, it's clearly bigger than the moon. So the, moon si uh, the, moon, uh, the shadow of the moon is larger than uh, the moon size. If you're standing somewhere outside of those two circles, you see the, the whole of the sun. If you're standing somewhere between them, then you see a portion of the sun until you're here, then you see nothing of the sun. The sun is fully obscured. Uh, this is what you see, outer circle. And then here you are within the penumbra and here you're within the umbra for a couple of minutes, a minute, a few seconds, or maybe never. And I'll come to this point uh, later. So uh, in this video, I'm only interested in the umbra. That's why I removed the other lines that uh, shows the penumbra. In this diagram, this is the sun, the moon, and this is the surface of the earth where we're going to uh, measure the size of the umbra. Uh, so uh, the first thing is uh, this side is the radius of the sun minus the radius of the moon. Of course, this is not a scale. Uh, for simplicity, you can uh, just plug in the sun radius uh, if, you, if you want to calculate it uh, on the spot without going to any complications. Uh, this side is the distance between the moon and the earth. And this side, I call it the missing shadow. Uh, the shadow that should have existed to make uh, the shadow of the moon or the 100% uh, shadow or the umbra to be equal to uh, the moon size. From this point to this point is the moon radius. So if we removed the missing shadow, then we get the umbra radius. Uh, but what if you're here and the moon is moving to that direction, then the amount of time that you will not going to see any portion of the sun will be shorter until you're here or maybe even here. There will be no time that the sun would be fully obscured uh, like that. So is there anyone who can claim that during the this, which is called the annular eclipse, during the annular eclipse, does the moon cast shadow on the earth or not? Of course it does, but it's just a little bit hazy, not so sharp, but it's there. Shadow of the moon is there. So uh, <clears throat> back to our diagram. We know this one, we know this one, we know this one. So we are remaining with this one. This is the one that we want. And uh, very basic geometry. The ratio of A and B is equal to the, to the ratio of D and C like uh, this. So we can very simply get uh, D or the missing shadow by this uh, simple equation. And I've made a spreadsheet just to make things uh, more simpler. So now we move the spreadsheet. So now we move to the spreadsheet. Uh, here's the table, the sun and the moon, and then some uh, the distance, uh, the B and C. This one, the B and C. This is the moon, earth, sun. And then uh, the radius, the radius of the sun and the radius of the moon, and then the remaining of the radius. For the sun, we just take away the 1,700 uh, kilometer uh, radius of the moon and for the moon this is the missing uh, shadow this one 
this is the missing shadow. So we, we subtract it from the radius of the moon and we get, you can see it here, you can see it, it's like 25 kilometers. That's the remaining shadow or half the umbra. The, the complete umbra diameter will be 51 kilometer, but that's only in this case. So uh, let's say if the moon was a little bit further at that time, because of course the moon distance is not fixed. So, oh, wow, we get a very small umbra. Uh, okay, what about uh, 377, 377, we can go up to 405. Ouch, where's the zeros? 377,000 kilometer. And you get a minus for the umbra uh, diameter. That means that this is uh, a nullar eclipse. So uh, let's get back to a number that we can visualize in our heads. So let's say three, seven, zero, 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 zero. So in these conditions for a solar eclipse, the umbra of the moon is going to be 51 kilometers. What if it was a, a uh, sorry, a lunar eclipse where the body here, the radius of the body is the earth. So let's put uh, six, three, seven, one kilometer. And the umbra diameter comes to be 9,000 plus. So uh, if you get back here, 51 kilometer with this radius you'd intuitively you would expect that when you put the earth radius which is like what four times four times this something like that then you would multiply this by four but actually when you do the math and if you do it with experiment uh you, you would get this number which is a big number it's not it's not as big as the earth but it's still way bigger and uh, this is what we observe. So the model is correct. There's nothing wrong with our, with our Earth. Everything is calm and cool. Thank you for watching.